Hello, it's Matt and welcome to Collaboration Coach. And if you're planning on doing any SharePoint page editing, then you need to know about web parts and sections. And in this video, I'm gonna break them down and show you what they're good for and how you would use them. And just before we get started, if you like this video and you want to learn more about SharePoint, check out our SharePoint Champion course over at our school. The course has hours of video tutorials plus quizzes and how-to guides. You'll get 10% off when you buy the course and use the offer code YouTube. Check out the description for more details. So what do I mean when I say web part and section in SharePoint? To illustrate this, I'm gonna hit the edit button on my training page here. And you'll notice the page changes to edit mode. And I have a few pointers here. For example, this little pointer here is showing me that I can add a new section. And this one here is allowing me to add a new web part. Sections and web parts are the basic elements of every SharePoint page. So let's first switch to the whiteboard just to illustrate how pages, sections and web parts work together. You can see here I've got a page. So this is a blank SharePoint page. The page is the container for all the sections. I can divide up the page with many sections. Then the next level down is the web part and I can divide up the sections with web parts and it's the web parts that show me the information I'm interested in like news or events. So a web part could look like this. You could divide up your page with many web parts of that size or you could divide it up with larger web parts like this. So you can see how the page is divided up by sections and the sections are divided up by web parts. Okay, so let's switch back to the browser and see how that looks in SharePoint. You'll notice that I've got a plus button over here on the left and a plus button in the middle here. And when I hover over, you can see that it says add a section. When I hover over this one, it says add a web part. Okay, so that looks pretty straightforward. So if I hit add a section, it's gonna show me the section layouts. Now, section layout is just how the web parts are gonna be added to the page. If I've got one column, it's just gonna allow me to add one web part which stretches across the length of the page. If I go two columns, it's gonna allow me to have two columns with two web parts that stretch across the page and so on. So it's pretty straightforward, you've got five options here. So what I'm gonna do is choose two columns. And now you can see the page has changed and I've got these two sections on the left and the right. And that is my section divided up into two. Within each of those columns, I can then add web parts. And you can see I've got up two plus buttons now, which will allow me to add web parts into both of those columns. So I can do that by hitting the plus button and then it shows me all the web parts that are available to me to add there. Okay, so that's a quick overview of web parts and sections. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, then please check out our SharePoint Champion course over at our school at school.collaboration.coach.